Alright everyone, hello, uh, I'm Nikos and I will show you how to make a basic pony shape in Inkscape. To do this, we first have to find a pony image that we will use as a reference. You can use one from the internet or you can take your own screen capture of any episode you like or you can even use a drawn image if you want to f from your favorite artist. We will be using one from the internet right now. It, it's the easiest way to find one. Let's say, let's say we want to do Twilight Sparkle. So type Twilight Sparkle. Okay, so we found a picture of her here. There we go. Now, as you can see, it is rather low resolution. So, now that we have the internet image, we will be pasting it into Inkscape. So to do that you just right click somewhere into the image and paste. So there we go. It's a bit big right now so I will be using the resize tool. As you can see that if I resize it without doing anything else it will stretch it, shrink it, well it will do just a lot of stuff. You hold shift it will stay in proportions, but if you if you hold control, the it will it will use the same scale for for height and width. It's a, it's useful so your images don't stretch. So let's put it like this. Yeah, which she fits. Okay, so now now that she's now that we have that image, we open the layer the layers. So let's open it. So we actually have one layer. And that's where the image is in. You can see if I hide it, the image disappears. So, that layer, I'm going to name it background. Because, well, it's the background. And you can you name it reference if you want to. I call it background. So, and then we're going to lock it. So you can't move it anymore. As you can see, I can't select it. I can't do anything with it. And then we add, add a new layer. So, what this will be is the basic outline of... Twilight. So let's call it outline top because you will see later on we're gonna add a new outline. Okay so now that we have it now you select it and then you use the Bezier curves tool. So and this is where the fun begins. You start doing the outlines with as fewest points as possible which means that, for example, the hooves, it extends down here, but we're not going to draw that, because the image, after all, stops right here, so we're going to respect that for now. Of course, later on you can add it if you want to, but we won't be doing that right now. So let's start around here, and then we just... You now, every time we think there's a curve stop, we're going to put it there. Okay, now, this is where her run stops. So now we have this part here, then there's also her foot, which is just one, her belly, which is this big part here, and which extends up to her eyes. Then we have her foot, which we're going to be like in what should I be doing in one piece? Okay, so now that we have all this, we will be um, adjusting the curves because right now they are all just lines but what you want are curves so by doing this you you see when you when you take one and move it around you can you can uh, adjust the, the position of them but if you click shift it will take out a handle which will allow you to make those famous curves you can do with um, vector arts okay so, let's see, yeah, this one looks okay, and this one is going to be a bit bending upwards, so now we, okay, but there's just one problem, it's, it looks a bit weird, because it's breaking, it looks like it's breaking here in the middle, but we don't want that, so we're going to select it, and press the smooth button, it's going to smooth it out a bit, a lot actually, so we have to move it slightly, so it's actually still accurate, Okay, perfect. Now this is going to be down here and okay, so we have this handle here and I want to the second one. Yes, perfect. Like this. 
there we go. So now you have the first part of her leg. Now let's continue with the second one. So this one goes a bit inside before going outside again. There we go. And this one goes up. And then we select again then and smooth. So often it it will change the shape a bit. So you have to readjust it. Okay, and then we can change this one a bit as well. And there we go. So her rump is done. Then her foot. Which is easy because it's just one line. Then her belly which is basically just one line as well. Remember that you have two handles per line, which is the first node and the second node. Don't uh, remember that because it will allow you to make better things because obviously I could I could have just made it with one, you know, like I could have extended it down here, but often it will just look ugly and will be really hard to change afterwards because you have to change so much. So most of the time, most of the time, I will just use both. Then I'm going to change a little bit here. Oh, so this is where it becomes a bit tricky because this one has to be smooth. But also a bit upwards. So let's let's put. There we go. Okay, that's why. There we go. And, well, tricky. Still looks okay. And a bit downward, well, that's a bit too much. Yeah, that should be fine for now. Okay, and now we still have this leg to do. Top. And, uh, there we go. So, now we have the basic outline of her front body. Now, after now, now doing this, we can you can always start to think about how it all how it all looks like. So we know that the front leg is in front of the body, which means that you won't don't want to see this this part of the line here. After all, you don't you don't see a belly through her leg. So what you have to do is we're going to take this piece of her leg and put it in a new layer, which will be above the body, and we will call it the front leg and so well, as you can see it's not in it to uh, to make it change layers you press control and you do page up so now you can see oh wait wait from wrong button sorry <laughs> yep it's it's shift it's not control so you press shift to make it go up one layer Okay, so this is our front front leg, which is done. Then we're going to do the hind, the hind legs, or how you call them. So let's do the outline as usual. Then the other outline. There we go. Then, right, that's went a bit too far. Yeah, yeah. This this piece of the of the pony is always a bit hard, and I don't like doing it. There we go. Then, her leg. There we go, and then. Okay. Okay, now we have to smooth. No, actually there's only this one we have to smooth. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. Can we, should we smooth this one as well? Well, we could. So look great. Remember, always, always choose uh, the the settings that looks the best. Not necessarily, nece not necessarily the one uh, others have taught you. So, if you find something else that works for you, 
then that's perfect and use that. Yeah, well, this one, this one's a bit tricky. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, so now we have the the behind legs, but as you can see, they are still in the front leg layer. So we're going to add a new layer, which will be the behind legs. I'm not even sure if that's real English, but whatever. And we're going to put it down uh, under the outline from the from the body. So now you go back to the front leg layer. You select the uh, the the pieces of her body and do shift and page down so now we're in the in her body layer and now we're in the leg layer as you can see if I hide this they disappear so now it's all properly layered we can add a, let's say a filling so to add a fill you press control shift and you press F this will open a window which is called fill and stroke so now we're going to select all her body parts they don't have to be in the same layer to be able to select them all you go to stroke style the mid element you're going to put it to really high to something like 250 that's going to be fine and the width you can I suggest something like four or four or three it depends really on the image Sometimes it's if it's from far away, it's going to be a bit, it's going to be a bit uh, thinner, and if it's really close, it's going to be a big, big uh, thicker. So now that we have this, we want the real colors of the twilight. But with this image, we can't really find it. As you can see, it's all a lot of different colors due to due to JPEG compression. So, how I usually do it is, I go on Google and, and type Twilight Sparkle, of course that's her right now, Spa Twilight Sparkle, and then you put um, Color Guide. So, there's this guy on, on uh, DeviantArt, Kefka Floyd. I find his, I find his Color Guides really, um, really good because they're pretty, they're pretty accurate. So we can see that her body strokes have this color it's a it's a hexadecimal and we're going to insert it like let's say let's color her um yeah well, let's like it all of them so oh, there we go so you paste it here in the rgba pay, uh, field so control v there we go and as you can see, I'm going to hide the background. You now have, they now have the color of Twilight Sparkle. You can already tell alone by the shape and through the through the color that it would be Twilight Sparkle. Then, the next thing to do is to fill it. But the problem is, let's say we fill this one. Now, we're going to fill it. Well, as you can see, it it doesn't fill the body as uh, as we. Uh, as we have it, it rather fills just between the points. But as they're all disconnected, well, the computer doesn't know where to fill everything. So let's. I will show you on the legs, and the rest of the fill. Going, I will be doing it in another tutorial. So, same thing. We're going here. We're going back again to the color guide, and check the body fills. Now, there are two colors often. There is the shading shade color and the in light color. You, I call it like that. Call it like you want, because um, you have those. You see the the behind legs are often in the, in the shade, so they are a bit darker than the front legs. That's where this color comes in. Right now we want the lighter color, so we select, we copy it, we select the front leg, we, and fill it. So now it's black, of course. And now we're going to insert her filling color. And now Twilight Sparkle has a filled leg. <laughs> Let's do the same thing for her behind leg with the other color. And fill and control V. 
and it's inside. Okay, well, this concludes the first tutorial. Be sure to also watch the second to know how to color the whole body, and then the third one will be about the, the, the hair.